Whenever you hear about ancient Egypt, pyramids, mummies, pharaohs, and tombs come to your mind. Not only that, but ancient cities, flourishing towns, and Egyptian people complete the scene. It's because ancient Egypt was one of the most powerful civilizations and empires of its time, being over 5,000 years old. But what if we tell you that ancient Egypt is not the only ancient civilization of Africa? Yes, the past empire whose pyramids, underground tombs, and artifacts impress archaeologists today does have parallels. Welcome to a new episode of Black Culture Diary, a channel where we talk about less known and hidden black history, culture, arts, and lost civilization. We scrutinize history here to bring the black culture back on the surface again. We encourage you to join our community in supporting and building a strong black history education medium. In this episode, we will change your understanding of ancient Egypt by telling you about the 10 African civilizations more wonderful than Egypt. Let's get started. Number 1. Ancient Carthage It's surprising to know that the city-states were not a feature of Greece only. Rather, an ancient city-state of Carthage, born from Phoenician roots and flourished in what is today Tunisia. This city held sway over a vast expanse and exerted substantial influence across the Mediterranean. Its strategic location and bustling trade enriched Carthage with great wealth. The Carthaginians honed their craftsmanship, particularly in furniture making. Punic cushions, mattresses, and beds were exquisite luxuries coveted by all. Even the Romans attempted to replicate their designs, albeit without success. It should be noted that Carthage boasted an intricate system of governance, complete with checks and balances. They developed a written constitution and nurtured an extensive library, though much of their literature was tragically lost or gifted to Numidian kings. Number 2. Zulu Empire The Zulu Empire's rise was shaped by the unwavering determination of Shaka Zulu, the illegitimate son of Chief Senzanganoka. Despite surviving multiple assassination attempts and internal family conflicts, Shaka emerged as the chief of the Zulu people. His brilliant military tactics propelled the empire to unprecedented power and prestige. The Zulu warriors, trained to perfection, became the pride of Africa during the colonial era. Through the introduction of the Ikelwa spear and the formidable bull formation, Shaka's warriors triumphed over the invading British forces. However, by the 1900s, the Zulu empire had merged into the Cape Colony, with fragments of its territory now integrated into modern-day South Africa. Number 3. Land of Punt The Land of Punt is known as a mythical land, which flourished and existed in present-day Somalia. Often likened to the fabled Atlantis of Africa, this land was unlike any other. Its inhabitants boasted dark red complexions and luxuriously long hair, dwelling in reed huts elevated on stilts above the water. Records about frequent trade missions between Punt and Egypt exist which show the enrichment of both lands. A renowned expedition led by Queen Hatshepsut marked the first recorded exchange of plant life. Incense, ivory, and even extraordinary individuals like human dwarfs and pygmies were traded between these lands. Punt's exact location remains shrouded in mystery, but it was described as an idyllic paradise, lush and green. Sailors likely navigated through the Red Sea or ventured along the Nile's current in small boats. Many believe that Punt left an indelible imprint on Egyptian culture, influencing literature and religion. Before we continue further, tell us, are you enjoying the video? If yes, please like and share the video and subscribe to our channel to watch more videos on black culture, history, civilization, and identity. Let's continue now. Number 4. Songhai Empire The Songhai Empire stretched across vast territories in Western Africa. This empire stood as a pinnacle of greatness, reigning from the 15th to the 16th centuries. Its wealth flowed from thriving trade, facilitated by a well-organized administration and a formidable army of 200,000 soldiers stationed across its provinces. Not only that, but a centralized government in the Songhai Empire brought together diverse cultures fostering unity with a common currency. Yet the empire's immense size proved to be its Achilles' heel. As governing such a vast territory became increasingly challenging, Songhai spiraled into civil war, fracturing into smaller competing kingdoms by the late 16th century. Number 5. Kingdom of Kush the Kingdom of Kush thrived in 2000 BC and is today hidden in the lands of present-day Sudan. This kingdom may be unfamiliar to many, but it shares a profound connection with ancient Egypt. Once, the Kushites wielded power akin to the mighty pharaohs of Egypt. They practiced mummification, constructed grand pyramids as eternal resting places, 
and devoted themselves to a vibrant pantheon of gods. However, intriguing differences set Kush apart. While the Egyptians were still unraveling the wonders of iron, the Kushites had already harnessed its power, making it a valuable resource. Something unique to the kingdom of Kush is that women held prominent positions in Kush society, with queens often ascending to the throne. In fact, a colossal pyramid was erected to honor a remarkable female ruler. The skilled archers of Kush were immortalized in breathtaking artwork, but all this could not avoid the kingdom of Kush from falling, and it fell near 350 AD. Number 6. Nox Civilization The traces of the Nox Civilization first came to light in 1928, when Nigerian tin miners made astonishing discoveries. Among these findings were pottery fragments, rock paintings, and tools that revealed the advanced nature of this previously unknown civilization. Research on these traces suggests that the Nox civilization existed from 900 BC to AD 200. Particularly, the Nox culture boasted a remarkably complex judicial system that predates many modern legal systems. Through various classes of courts, they handled cases involving theft, murder, adultery, and family disputes. The Nox people gained renown for their creation of life-size terracotta statues depicting figures with distinct elongated heads, almond-shaped eyes, and parted lips. Additionally, they excelled in metalworking, crafting small knives, spear points, and bracelets. However, around AD 200, the Nox population experienced a sudden decline, and the exact reasons for this decline remain unclear. Proposed explanations include famine, over-exploitation of resources, and climate change. The Nox civilization left behind a legacy of mystery and intrigue, their achievements offering glimpses into their advanced society. Number 7. Mali Empire The Mali Empire flourished from the 13th to the 16th centuries and emerged as a major African civilization. It was founded by a remarkable ruler named Sundiata Keita, known as the Lion King, and was located in present-day West Africa. However, it was under the reign of Mansa Musa that the empire reached its zenith. Mansa Musa is actually considered the wealthiest individual in history, with a fortune estimated today at an astonishing $400 billion. With this wealth, he transformed Timbuktu, the capital of Mali, into a renowned center for education and culture throughout Africa. Scholars from all corners of the continent flocked to Timbuktu to access the vast wealth of knowledge available there. Similar to the Benin Empire, Mali's advantageous location near the Niger River facilitated prosperous trade, contributing to its overall prosperity. But unfortunately, the empire suffered a significant setback when Moroccan invaders pillaged it in 1593. This weakened Mali and led to its decline as a major political entity. Number 8. Kingdom of Ghana In the ancient Kingdom of Ghana, unimaginable wealth was the order of the day. It had vast reserves of gold, something which found no parallels in the region. The opulence of this kingdom extended to the extent that even its dogs wore collars made of gold. Through astute planning, strong leadership, and the abundance of natural resources, Ghana emerged as a prominent African power. Engaging in trade with Europeans and North Africans, Ghana imported sought-after commodities such as books, cloth, and horses, while exporting gold and ivory. Salt, a valuable resource, was in high demand. Traders from Arab countries embarked on arduous journeys spanning months to reach Ghana and participate in commerce. Even though the Ghana Empire was powerful, and despite successfully repelling numerous invasions, Ghana eventually succumbed to its rivals and collapsed in 1240. The kingdom's isolation from trade and weakening by external forces led to its absorption into the burgeoning Mali Empire. Number 9. Benin Empire The Benin Empire flourished in what is now Nigeria in the 1200s. Its origins can be traced back to a humble settlement established by the Edo people who cleared the West African rainforest. By the 1400s, this modest settlement had evolved into a mighty kingdom. The rulers of Benin, known as the Oba, had a particular fondness for brass, which was prominently featured in their splendid palaces. The Benin people showcased their mastery in the use of brass through intricate artwork, statues, and plaques that depicted gripping battle scenes. The reason why the kingdom prospered is due to its strategic location near the Niger River, enabling lucrative trade with northern African kingdoms and providing access to valuable goods. On the southern coast, the Atlantic Ocean opened up avenues for maritime trade, facilitating the exchange of commodities like coral beads, pepper, and leopard skins. European trade further bolstered the economic success of Benin, 
starting in the 14th century. But unfortunately, the empire met a tragic fate when the British invaded, driven by a desire to exploit its resources. The invading forces not only devastated the empire, but also razed it to the ground, leaving a legacy of destruction and loss. Number 10. Aksum Empire It's interesting that during a time when a Christian revolution was sweeping across Europe, a powerful kingdom known as the Aksum Empire emerged on the African continent. It was located in what is now present-day Ethiopia and rose during the first century of the Common Era. Gradually, it became a significant center for trade and naval strength in northeastern Africa. It was something the world could not believe since it was far more developed than most cities in Europe. The skilled traders of Aksum ventured along the Nile River and reached Alexandria, establishing their dominance along the Red Sea coast until the 7th century. This empire had a profound impact not only on other civilizations in Africa, Europe, and Asia, but also on the cultural landscape of Africa itself. One of its remarkable contributions was the creation of Ge'ez, an original written script unique to Africa. Aksum attracted countless foreign visitors and received high praise from a Persian writer who considered it one of the four greatest powers in the world. Despite its significance, much about the Aksum Empire remains veiled in mystery, and ongoing research continues to shed light on this remarkable African civilization. Did you consider ancient Egypt the only powerful and magnificent African civilization? Do you think these African civilizations are more wonderful than ancient Egypt? Comment right below in the comment section. What do you think about other most influential African empires and civilizations besides ancient Egypt? Do you want to watch more videos like this one? If yes, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon next to it. We have decided to bring videos on something nobody talks about. The black culture, civilization, history, and evidence about how glorious blacks have been. Thanks for watching, and until the next video, stay tuned.